Hi guys, it's Moz here on the workbench today. Freshly delivered by DPD from FX in Margate, we have the 172 scale Gloucester Meteor F8. And we're going to unbox it straight after the intro. So, announced in January, we were told that we were going to get one of these. They originally released it in 148 scale. Now they've uh, shrunk it down to the 1 to 72 scale market, which is pre predominantly what I build. Really excited to get my hands on this kit. It, what I've seen so far, it just looks absolutely marvellous. I've been sent a load of pictures from Airfix. And uh, as you can see on the screen, you can see it is absolutely stunning. It is in exceptional detail. This newly tooled release features two different engine intake types, two canopy types, plus ventral fuel tank and drop tanks, and includes three unique schemes. It's apparently the measurements are 158 millimeters wide, 550 millimeters high and uh, 191 millimeters in length so i'm excited are you just by looking at those pictures there you'll see that i think this is going to be a proper nice build but before we look inside the box at the plastic and everything you get inside the box let's have a look at the box art we have this beautiful artwork here by uh, adam again he's done a phenomenal job here you know you've got your three I presume, um, I'm hoping that there will be the three schemes that you'd be going to be getting inside the box. And you've got one there just banking off to the left. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Right, edge of the box here, you can see you've got your warnings in various lingo. And then you have uh, cartograph decals, there's a symbol for it. And then the code, if you want this kit, is A04064. And I will leave a link in the description below and in the comments where you can buy this kit. Um, top of the box, if I get it at the angle of the of the camera there, so uh, you've got the same box art again, nothing on the back. So you have the bump on the side of the box here, and you have your three schemes, uh, Gloucester Meteor F8, all the three. You've got number 500 Squadron, uh, number 74 F Squadron, and number 350 Squadron of the Belgian Air Force. So two Royal Auxiliary, sorry, one Royal Auxiliary Air Force, um, Royal Air Force in Horsham, and then you have the Gloucester Meteor in, from the Belgium Air Force. So three distinct schemes there. So obviously you're not gonna get those three that are on the box, my bad. Paints that you need are all there, quite a lot. And uh, obviously it looks like it definitely comes with a pilot because it's giving you the pilot uh, numbers there as well. Skill level two, so it's good for the pro and the novice, obviously, and you get your one flying hour. So there you go, Gloucester Meteor F8. So let's see what you get inside the box. Top opening box, da -da, nothing there. And you get one bag of plastic, some instructions, and hopefully in the instructions you will have, or quite a large decal sheet very very nice so just quickly looking you've got your commons there so you've got a lot of stencil in there to deal with quite a lot actually freaking out quite a lot for 172 scale hella look at them i'm sure that's not that can't be for all of them can it might be yeah it might well be actually yeah there's uh just by going by the numbers here 87 is your top one so Good luck with that, everyone. There you are. There you go. There you got your common one, so your round doors up there. And then um, for the number, so for common for A and B, I should say, is these ones here. Uh, a and B for these. Um, nice, no bleed through or nothing. There's the A one, so quite simple, really. You know, I thought they would have had something for the tail, but I thought you have to paint the tail yourself. And then for the B, you've got these nice uh, round doors with like, like a... The, um, the the black and yellow triangles there, they look phenomenal, don't they? Um, which is WL164. And then a bit below, you have the Belgian ones here. And uh, they look pretty crisp and clean, but there you go, they are cartograph, aren't they? 
But these might have even cost more than the plastic. <laughs> right, instructions. You've got quite a big booklet here of instructions. This is where I'm going to have to adjust the camera so it fits nice. Camera all adjusted for this one. Right, nice little booklet on this one. Beginning, you've got the bunk. There's the sizes there of the of the plane. Three decal schemes and uh, colourful ones as well, which is what I like. Um, starting off, as per usual, you're basically building cockpit and seat. And there you go, all the way through. Nicely blown out here with all the colours there. Uh, 1985 you know moving down through not much point looking at this really um looks like you put in the the stick first then you put on the um the dash finder moving all through um you have a choice here um so if you've got the if you've got the um canopy uh the under sorry canopy, the undercarriage down you put this part in here d3 and if you don't you don't put it in so that's the choice there um 14 so that's similar you've got to remove that piece there by filing moving down through and um, putting all this together you put your eight grams of weight underneath the cockpit there it's quite a build up there isn't it for the cockpit nice little tub there and then again um with the gearing up you put that piece in there underneath. Um, so if the gearing's down, you you don't. Looks like that, yeah. Um, put these together. It says do not glue that, so you don't glue the um, the fin there at the back. Drill in some holes here for your drop tanks. There and there, there and there. Um, and again, we're looking through, so you're starting to build up with the, the engines now. So it's like a one piece of there, two piece there. Um, and then down here, showing you just trying to see what that picture is there. So you, I think you're adding um, some stability there. And, and look at the flaps at the, is that that goes in there behind the flat flap. Oh, that's one piece as that goes in there up and so it goes down inside, so it just clicks in there. I think that's what you're looking at, clicks in there. Right, um, more pieces there for the underneath for the engines and showing you there how they slot in, quite a nice feature. Then the flaps go and put your glass in there, there's a little piece of glass to go in underneath. Then on top, you then you then you fit in that piece there, which is like the, the back of the back of the fuselage there. Then it looks like it sit clamps down on top of the wings, which is a nice, nice design for that. You have a choice here of um is that one piece or two piece? Oh, I see there's one piece or one piece, two piece on the flaps so on the back. Yeah. Moving on through, you've got your um well they go one way, do they? So you can see that that's 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 what it looks. So they go in into that section there with the points to the left and the right. Quite a lot going on in this kit, isn't there? Quite a lot going on, which is nice. So as you like your exhaust exhaust funnels at the back um so you fit them and then here again you have a choice here for a and c you use part a1 and a2 if you're doing the b scheme you're using a4 and a3 so there's a choice there which is nice and then putting on the um ailerons at the back so on, the, on, your, on your tail fin and that will all complete then you start with the undercarriage for the nose end looks a little bit complex but it should be easy enough to fit through uh, nose is in two parts so join them together straight in front then you put your wheel and so you've got a choice there or is that the same d1 or d2 so you've got one two so you got there two halves then slot them together. Oh, I see. So you can paint these out. And then one half goes in on top of the um, hub and then around. That's quite a nice little feature, isn't it? So, yeah. 
more fitting of the undercarriage right the way through then the f and then the doors for the undercarriage moving on through more um this is for the f uh, the nose um gear in there straight the way through nice easy some doors there then you put your drop tanks in and underneath and then you have look at that grill there so you can either have it up or down depending on if you want it up or down i think that's brake isn't it and then then you add all your little pieces start with the canopy uh looks like um you got you got two types of canopy so a and c if you do so this one here d6 into f3 if you're doing ac if you're doing b you're using f1 canopy and adding the d6 to the front end there pilot goes in front of the canopy goes in and you're basically done wow uh, these are the the markings so um after after all is said and done if you're doing a you're putting these ones on if you're doing b you're putting that on if you're doing c you're putting them on and at the back here is all the stencil data so all those little bits that you want you know with there's hundred oh there's loads to put on if you so wish to do so there you go that's the instructions done kind of confused myself a little bit on some of this lovely plain mine though isn't it so in the bag finger in and weld it and you're going to be getting quite a lot of sprue here Ooh. so how many sprues have we got then we've got four sprues so Let's start with frame A, which is the fuselage. Just look at the crisp data on the data detail on this detail. Look at that, very nice. It's moving on through. Nice. It's that nice plastic actually. Not too bad. Pla oh, actually, that's uh, actually that's not bad plastic, you know. Just moving through. There you go. Well, there's your different. Um, it's your air intakes, isn't it? There's your different air intakes. You just see that it's, it's a lot lot thinner, the funnels, aren't they, on these ones? So you've got your one and two or your three and four, depending on which uh, which aircraft you're doing. Then go to the other side. There's a quick look through there. And there's some engine pieces there. All good in the hood. There you are. So there's frame A, frame B. There you go. There's a... Uh, so three piece on this wing basically. So there's the the uh, the bottom there. Some nice crisp detail there. And then up here, there's um, there's your left side, no, your right side, and your left side. See that very very nice. So there's your frame B. A little bit of detail underneath for um, inside the uh, doors there. There you go, brilliant. So there's that one. Frame C. More little parts there. Some nice crisp detail there. Can you see that? There's your your flaps there. Turn them over so you can see. There's not a lot different in there. The injection pin marks are pretty well out the way on this one as well, which is what we like. So no need to go filling and sanding. Moving through here, very nice indeed. Um, some more of the uh, cockpit there. Just so you can see all the detail on that. Marvellous, so that was frame C. Then finally, your last one, which is your frame D. Just looking through. Nice, very, very nice. The back end, so you can see where the injection pin marks are on the back of these. And then on the front, there you go. So there you go. I think the way the wheels on the undercarriage are going to be interesting to build up. I think they've got that pretty much sussed, haven't they? The way, just look at that. I think the way that the, the outer wheel goes in, clicks in, then you click the wheel on top. 
I don't know, it's quite, I quite like that look actually. So it looks like it's, it, it fits in there. Do I risk it? Number one, I don't I want to take it off the sprue really. But yeah, there you go. So I'll be starting this one this week, this kit. I'm looking forward to building it. There's the, uh, the dash there. Nice detail there. So yeah, there you go. You know, four nice pieces of sprue there, which I'm assuming that they will be able to add new parts to, etc. in the future. So yeah, quite, quite a nice, uh, nice looking kit that. Then you've got your clear plastic, so you can see you've got your two styles of canopy there. And you've got some um, lights and some lenses there underneath. Very nice indeed. I love these kits that FX are bringing out recently. They really do make a difference. So there you go, that's nice and close up, so you can see that one there too. There you go. That was an unboxing of the Gloucester Meteor F8. Is this the sort of kit you'd want to buy? Because if you do, there's definitely a link down in the description. If you want to, if you want to buy it, there's a link there to buy this kit. Um, leave a comment also. Is this the sort of kit you're going to, uh, going to buy and build? Is it the sort of kit you're going to buy and put in a stash for a rainy day? Anything exciting about this kit? Just leave me a comment down below because I always reply. <laughs> and thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Ring that bell. Click all and you'll be notified when I release a new video. And to subscribe to this channel is free. But if you'd like to help the channel monetary wise, you could be become a channel member by clicking join just under this video i like the members who i'm showing now on the screen um these people help make the channel better and if you want to be part of that little family then please come and join the moz models family by clicking that join button that's it see you in the next video have a good week cheers